It seems like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is going to be another failure for Disney. Uh, people went to the premiere of this movie at the Cannes Film Festival, and a lot of them don't seem to like it. It's got a 43% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's bad. That's terrible. And everybody should have expected that this movie wasn't going to end up good because George Lucas has nothing to do with it. Steven Spielberg was supposed to direct it, but then he quit. This is by Lucasfilm. And everything that they've put out recently has been trash. The Star Wars sequels, Willow, everything that Lucasfilm puts out now is garbage. And on top of that, you have all those trailers and clips of this movie that were really bad. I remember there was that one trailer that had that capitalism comment. That was just cringe. And then you had that new clip that showed that chase scene in the town where they were on those little golf carts and then Phoebe Waller-Bridge yells to Jones, I'm beautiful, daring, self-sufficient. Like, j j just shut the fuck up. She's obnoxious. She's fucking annoying. And it seems like a lot of other people from the mainstream media are giving this movie some pretty negative reviews. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny does Harrison Ford's Indie Dirty. That's from Rolling Stone. And then you got BBC Culture that says Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has a gloomy and depressing final act. That's also not very good. And it's just, this movie was just set to fail. You got Kathleen Kennedy in charge. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is a main character in the cast. It just, this movie was just doomed from the start. And keep in mind, the budget is nearly $300 million. This movie would need to make over $900 million to break even. If this flops, that is going to be a catastrophic failure for Disney. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a like. Be sure to follow my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.